What's good, y'all? Ty Ferguson Bay here, off duty grind, and we're here with another episode. Um, this segment again is called Would You Invest? So, um, last episode we did the pops.com uh vending machine. I think I ain't posted yet, I'm just moving on to the next one. But this one, uh, it's like the red box for pizza in my mind. So I'll show you that. But before we get started, wanted to let y'all know, got a book out. All right. It's at uh, offdutygrind.com backslash shop. All right. And all right. Side hustles for active duty military. So um, if you want to do some side hustles that I've been doing, I got those hustles in the book. Like YouTube, right? YouTube. Also affiliate marketing. All right. So you can take to those do Philly and by putting some videos below it, you know, do some reviews or something like that, and I'm um, share the link to those products and get paid for it, right? You can even do um, uh, affiliate marketing with Amazon with products on Amazon. So if you have a camera that you normally use and you do uh, podcasting, or if you play drums and you want to show the drum that you use, and you say get the drum from Amazon, right? Um, you can put that link below. Someone buys it, you get money for it, right? Same thing. So podcasting, YouTube videos, doing lessons, writing books, self-publishing, stuff like that, all in the book. So give you some ideas, get the juices flowing to make you some extra money. So check that out. But that's it for the advertisement. Let's get into the show. So this one, uh, let me share the screen real quick. I didn't even get to the page yet. But this one is like, to me, like I said, the the red box for pizza. And they only they're only going for about five more days. So again, let me share. Share screen. Share screen. Sorry. Start engine. All right. All right. So we're on start engine. Make sure it's you're looking at it. And this one, right here. Says closing the 30th. So it's four days left on this one. I might have to post this one first. Um, so if you saw that I posted the other one first, I'm posting this one before this one because this one. Um, last week I did this one. Well, today I did this one. I was going to post it this one, but I'm going to post this one first because it's only ended in four days. So this one is the future of artisanal, artisanal pizza. So to me, I see this as the red box for pizza. It's like this one's a vending machine, but this one's like a vending machine for pizza. So let me just click on it before I, you know, I keep talking. I'll let them play the video. But right now they got a thousand investors. They got $12 million valuation. Um, let me see how much is red box worth. Let me look that up real quick. How much is red box worth? Right, because Redbox, if you don't know Redbox, it was like Redbox is worth well, they bring in 50, 546 million dollars in revenue in 2020. So, this one's has a 12 million dollar valuation. So, if you think it's going to go up past 12 million dollars, you may want to invest again. They're not giving investment advice, can't do that, but um, yeah, let's check this out. So, let's say. Offer of closing 930 again, $12 million valuation, minimum investment, $1,000. Um, price per share, $2.56. All right. And they're offering common shares. All right. Equity. All right. I didn't check to see what the last one is offering, but again, $30 minimum investment. And let's watch the video. Let's see. It's no secret that the food industry is being going through tremendous changes. We still want restaurant quality food, but in a much faster, convenient, and safer way. The definition of the kitchen and the restaurant of the future is changing, and we believe that Pie Show is perfectly positioned to help redefine the kitchen of the future. The goal of our engineering was to create artisanal pizzeria quality with a futuristic twist. And I think it's a great family experience to see this high-tech thing that's almost whimsical and fun, spinning your pizza around and moving it up and down. I think that's pretty cool. Like, you get to watch your pizza being made in the window. So say this is, I don't know how they keep, I guess it's refrigerated, all right? Yeah, it should be refrigerated inside. They can do that, all right? But they probably imagine it's just being out 
on the street somewhere or at some shopping mall, some plaza. I would probably invest in one of these, like one of these machines itself. But let's we joke around that Paestro, our pizza maestro, is creating pizza performances. No, not cheesy like that. And yes, that was totally pun intended. But the performance is truly at the heart of this pizza company. There's a lot of other competitors in the food technology space and specifically in the pizza automation space. But what they don't have is a team of experienced leaders like ours. Paestro is backed by global venture capital firm Wavemaker Partners, which has over 400 million assets under management. Our team is made up of some of the leaders in kitchen automation and food technology. So basically they say what differentiates them between other Piece of technology companies is their team. <laughs> uh, I don't care about the team. Like, you would need something that differentiates you from another pizza company because if you have a pizza vending machine, somebody else has a pizza vending machine. What's the difference besides, you know, you better taste good? So, so Robotics, creator of Flippy, the burger flipping robot, and Kitchen United, one of the first dark kitchens in the world. We see our strategic advantage. So I did hear this company, the, um, the burger flipping company, like they got a robot that I was about to say that that makes burgers and stuff like that. So we see our strategic advantage in five key points, extreme speed to market, major labor reduction, very low rent cost, huge profit margin and high consistency in the finish. All right. So I can agree with, well, I don't know what they selling that pizza for, but I did one video. I didn't post it where um, I compared the price of buying that pizza to the cost of actually making a pizza. And I didn't even make the dough itself, but I bought the dough, you know, you buy all the ingredients and one pizza cost me probably around $3, right? And the pizza, if you buy it, it's like $17. Well, out here in Hawaii, it's freaking 29 to 24, 24 to $29. So you got some, some good profit margins on pizza. I know that that much. Product. In addition to launching Paestro branded pods throughout the world, we also plan to partner with existing restaurants and pizza chains to help power their business, help them expand both into new categories and also expand into new locations and to new audiences. While we have all this high quality engineering and robotics and a fun show while your pizza is getting made, the most important thing is that we're going to handcraft a pizza for you. It's going to be delicious and it's going to come out fast. Weird thing is I wouldn't want to invest in this company. Well, I would, but I want to, I want one of those machines. <laughs> like, so I'd rather have the machine, but I know if you invest in a company, you get your profits if, if the stock go up, but I know that machine is going to make, make you some money. Depends on how much it costs. When you look at that though. By blending artisanal pizza, touches, fast and fun experience. We believe that this can be the future of food robot investing. So like my grandfather say, come and get your slice of the pie. <laughs> come and get your slice of the pie. That crust don't look that good. But you know, I eat pizza all the time. We just had some pizza today. But um, they have the, the website. But let's go through this. Reasons to invest. Backed by lead investor. I don't care about that. Uh, signed commercial agreements valued at approximately $500 million. Hey, seasoned team of food and robotics experts made up of executives. They mainly talk about the team serving the most popular foods in the U.S. Pizza, right? All right, so yeah, I like that. That's why I say I'd rather have one of those machines. Um, I think Mr. Wonderful invested in it. Uh, signed trade, signed to trade on Star Engine secondary market. All right, um, fully oversubscribed, raised with blah blah blah. Uh, Full service pizza restaurants are expensive to run. They have some margins. Can agree with that. Um, it has the facts on there. You can go read it. This is again um, Star Engine. Go to Paestro. Da -da 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 -da. I want to see how much they're selling the machines for. Paestro, 32 square feet unit. One to two units. Uh, one to two employees working part time. Two weeks launch, 50K to start. Now, I may, I may have to get one of those, you know. <clears throat> may take out a small business loan or whatever. Uh, let me see. The average 
for for pizza. Uh, payroll costs would be a minimum of hold on for typical restaurants. Paestro requires no labor to operate as it's fully automated and only needs part-time employee to service and refill ingredients periodically, which is expected to cost $7,500 a year based on uh, the prototype. So I don't know if they're talking about the on time to, I don't know if they're talking about the employee or the ingredients. So only, and only needs part-time employee to service and refill the ingredients periodically, which expected to cost $7,500 per year. So one or two employees, part-time, five, 50 K to start. I don't think uh, a retail, uh, I never opened one, but I ain't going to speak on it. I never opened one. Um, but the weird thing is Papa John's used to have, you need a 50 K to start a Papa John's. So I don't know where they get this number from based on management's evaluation of information regarding automation. So 50 K to start. I wonder what it comes with. If you start, I may have to check out their website. Piece of market, commercial partnership. Oh, two incredible brands. I like 800 um, degrees. I ate them in um, uh, Las Vegas. And I know, um, what's his name? Uh, LeBron James invested in it as well. So again, I do like this machine. I want that. I want that machine. All right. Lightning fast, always open, order ahead, restaurant quality pizza. I want somebody to try like, What's the insurance by bust in there? But you got regular vending machines. People can bust in a regular vending machine. So from Pennsylvania to White Label Partnership, sell direct to customers via pay a stroke machine, or you can do a white label. White label, they'll just put like little Caesars on there or something like that, or your brand. So if you have a Tyrell's Pizza, right, I could put Tyrell's Pizza in and have a white label. And of course, it's a partnership, so it seems like you'll have to sell uh, buy royalties or, you know, give them royalties. Uh, da, 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 da. So high margin business. <clears throat> they talk about traditional. So that's not. So basically, they're gonna say you save. Um, you're gonna have more more profits. It's full cost, eighteen percent labor, ten percent other real estate. So you do have to pay to put this somewhere. Labor, real estate. Why is it ten and twelve percent? Food costs, food costs, still the same. I was checking to see if the food costs would be the same. Labor, so you don't got to pay so much in labor and 48% profit margins. Great. Great label to experience is probably by Paestro. Little piece of real seen around the world. Paestro will become. All right. But he goes on and on. Definitely want to check this out. I want to go to their website and see what it says. But would you invest in this company? Would you invest in... Would like I said, it feels like the the red box of pizza. So let me go. I want to go see what it what that costs. Oh no. Uh, let's do advance. Proceed. Proceed. I don't know if it went to it. So let me check and see if it went to the page. Nope. Let me stop screen share. Share share screen. Tab. Paestro, boom. All right. They're showing the days to invest. I want to see how much. It said 50K to start. Um, usually has a question about investor brief, same thing. So I should get the investor brief, but I'm just not worried about that. I'm worried about. 50k, but I ain't gonna hold y'all. There's some more stuff I want to see, but check them out, Paestro, um, on Start Engine, or just go to paestro.com and see if you want to and join in on this. Um, I should join their webinar, but um, I know this invest now will probably take me back to the Start Engine, and I don't think I want to invest. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to invest a thousand dollars in them, but I do want that machine, so I'll see about taking out a loan or something like that for the machine. Definitely interested in that machine more so than the company. But um, that's about it. But if I buy the machine, I should want to invest in the company. It's like if you buy Nike shoes, you should want to invest in Nike, right? 
So that's what a lot of people do. If they see something they like, um, invest in that thing. But not giving investment advice. But would you do it? Would you invest in this company called Paestro? And the vending machine is like a pizza vending machine. And it definitely, I'm definitely, I like the machine. I love the machine. All right. I just want to, hey, make it some delicious pizza. And again, you don't have to have a building, say, take up 32 square feet. And it's fifty thousand dollars. So take out a loan for fifty thousand um, dollars. Use that leverage, break it up over several years per month, and you should be making more month, more dollars, well, a higher amount per month than your loan is, and probably should um, even out stuff like that. But y'all know how business works, y'all business owners. So talk to y'all. Um, comment below. Would you invest in this company? Only got four days to invest, but um, like the other company looked at. Um, uh, they did it. They did it several times. So they had like three rounds on this start engine site. So the price will go higher, but definitely, um, I like that company. But I, I just want the machine rather than invest in the company, um, because I feel that you can get higher profits with the uh, company rather than investing a thousand dollars. I think you get more um, bang for your buck having a machine and getting paid from the pizza, like having a pizza pizzeria than getting paid from the stock. But hey, I could be wrong, but talk to y'all, just change the ingredients out. I think that's a winning machine. So talk to y'all and let me stop this screen, this screen share and I'll see y'all tie off to the grind. Again, got the book out. If you want to support, go to off to the grind.com backslash shop and Check out the book. And again, it gives you some tips on some side hustles. Also, I'm doing private lending. So if you need a couple hundred dollars for the holidays or for emergencies, uh, just hit me up and we'll do some paperwork and um, see. All right. So talk to you and I'll see you. Bye.